President Trump at the White House on Tuesday. Doug Mills, The New York Times, Washington, President Trump shared videos supposedly portraying Muslims committing acts of violence on Twitter early Wednesday morning, images that are likely to fuel anti-Islam sentiments popular among the president's political base in the United States. The White House did not immediately respond to questions about the videos. Mr. Trump also took a shot at CNN and praised his administration for a strong stock market in other Twitter posts Wednesday morning. Mr. Trump's Twitter page on Wednesday morning. Mr. Trump retweeted the video posts from an ultra-nationalist British lawmaker, Jada Franson, who has previously been charged in the United Kingdom with religious aggravated harassment, according to news reports. The videos were titled, Muslim Migrant Beats Up Dutch Boy on Crutches. Muslim destroys a statue of Virgin Mary, and Islamist mob pushes teenage boy off roof and beats him to death. It is unusual to see an American president push out this type of content on such a powerful social media platform. But the videos are consistent with how Mr. Trump has approached Islam, particularly during the campaign, when he said, Islam hates us during the 2016 presidential campaign and called for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims coming to the United States. Ms. Franson is the deputy of the fair right party Britain First. The charges against her accuse her of using, threatening, abusing or insulting words or behavior in speeches and leaflets at events in September and November in three cities in England. Ms. Franson thanked Mr. Trump for promoting her message in a Twitter post on Wednesday. President of the United States, Donald Trump, has retweeted three of Deputy Leader Jada Franson's Twitter videos. Donald Trump himself has retweeted these videos and has around 44 million followers. God bless you Trump. God bless America. OCS at Jada but real Donald Trump picked out Twitter.com but Cactra 9, Jada Franson at Jada November. 29, 2017 A conservative commentator, Ann Coulter, on Tuesday also retweeted the video purporting to show a Muslim migrant beating a Dutch boy. Jonathan Martin and Michael B. Scheer contributed reporting.